Sharks are the oldest fish on our planet. They manage to survive safely to this day, almost unchanged. When we hear the phrase white shark, we immediately think of the world-famous movie Jaws. Scientists associate the great white shark with its scientific name, Carcharodon carcareus, which in Latin means rough tooth. Both the Latin name and the title of the film reflect the tremendous importance of shark teeth in its life cycle. So let's dive into the ocean and take a close look at this incredible power. How it lives, how it hunts, and what kind of combat arsenal does the white shark have? Watch and listen about it right now. Make yourself some hot tea, sit back, subscribe to the channel and enjoy watching. The great white shark got its name in 1873. Before that, it was called differently. The fish of death, the white death, and the man-eating shark. And these names are not accidental. Reaching 7 meters in length and weighing more than 2 tons, this shark has every right to be called a killing machine. When you look at the snout of this predator, you can even imagine that there are 300 sharp 7 cm long teeth waiting for you there. Huge protruding jaws are able to easily split into even a thick wooden beam. And if you add here the force of the gripping of the deadly jaws, then truly a more terrible fish is difficult to imagine. Experimentally, it was possible to establish that the force of its bite can reach 18,216 newtons. For comparison, the maximum bite force of an adult human is about 200 to 300 newtons. If we were to bite a great white shark in response, it most likely would not even feel it. By the way, teeth are all that remains after the death of a shark. After all, its body does not contain bones, but only cartilage. Did you know that a white shark is capable of attacking not only with sharp teeth, but also with its own feces? Shark gastric juice is quite pungent, and it is a highly concentrated acid. But the super predator also has its weaknesses. The shark cannot stop because it needs a constant stream of water to pass through its gills. If it swims slower than 1 meter per second, the gills will not receive enough oxygen and the shark will die. The great white shark is found in oceans around the world. There is another feature that strikingly distinguishes the great white shark from many other sharks and fish. It is warm-blooded. Warm-bloodedness means that this predator can live in colder waters than other sharks. But it also means that they should eat more. And for sharks, these life moments are the most beloved ones. After all, the white shark not only loves to eat, it is a deli. Oh my gosh. The prey doesn't come on its own, so sharks have to work hard to find something tasty for lunch. How do they do it? Sound travels faster and farther in water than in air, so hearing is a useful option. Many people think the larger the ears, the better the hearing of the animal, but this is not the case. Have you ever seen sharks with ears like those of an elephant? That's it. Sharks generally have no signs of ears on their bodies, but they hear perfectly. Having an extremely keen hearing, the shark perceives sound signals several kilometers away. It perfectly hears even the convulsive movements of a fish caught on a hook or a swimming person and unmistakably goes to prey. The great white shark is a little blind and sees poorly at night, therefore it hunts in the daytime, preferring to attack from an ambush. At the moment of the attack, the shark opens its toothy mouth wide and closing its jaws tears off a huge piece from the victim. But this is just for testing. If the dish turns out to be tasty enough, the shark will wait until the animal will bleed out, after which it will start eating. 
If the prey is not suitable, the shark leaves it after the first piece. White sharks prefer to eat fatty foods and not just meat, which has only protein. Therefore, the main prey is pinniped aquatic predators such as seals and sea lions. Humans are too muscular for sharks to like, but seals can have up to 50% fat, which is their favorite food. Although they can also eat fish, seals, sea turtles, and even other sharks. The great white shark does not chew on its prey. Instead, it holds the victim tightly in its teeth and shakes its head from side to side, tearing off pieces of flesh. A shark is able to swallow 9 to 13 kilograms of food at a time. Great white sharks consume approximately 11 tons of food per year. For comparison, a 70 kilogram person eats about half a ton a year. One fact should be noted here, sharks do not feed constantly. They need to eat once every two weeks or even once a month. Sharks' no less keen sense of smell allows them to catch the most insignificant otters in the water at a distance of half a kilometer. The sea predator is able to smell the fish blood of a mammal in the very minimum concentration, one one hundredth million. And the smell of fat emitted by frightened fish drives sharks into a frantic hunting rage. And it rushes to its prey at a speed of 56 km per hour. Chasing prey, the white shark can jump out of the water to a height of 5 meters. The white shark also has the ability to detect weak electric fields generated by the bodies of living organisms. A special organ called Lorenzini ampules is responsible for receiving electrical impulses. It is only effective at a distance of up to a few centimeters. Electroreception helps sharks locate prey just before tasting, as their eyes cannot see the area near their mouth. When sharks search for prey, they use their senses in the order described above. Hearing and smell are effective over long distances. They set the direction of movement. As they get closer, the sharks use their sight and then their Lorenzini ampules. The great white shark is at the top of the food pyramid, being the largest shark species and effective hunter. But even such a great predator has enemies that it avoids. The white shark has two main enemies, killer whales and dolphins, which pose a great threat to sharks due to their developed intelligence and group work. Shark man, this is insane! This is a lake! It's a saltwater lake. What the hell does that mean? It means it's not impossible. The white shark grows in an egg from which it hatches inside the mother's womb and then the process of live birth takes place. The gestation period lasts approximately 12 to 18 months. The number of sharks that are born can vary from 2 to 10 individuals. A newly born white shark is about 1.5 meters long, weighs about 35 kilograms and grows for a very long time. Due to the long gestation period, these sharks have a very low reproductive capacity. This suggests that white sharks need protection, as their population is rapidly declining due to the intensified recent human activities, especially shark fin hunting. The catch of the white sharks is for the purpose of obtaining shark fins for the sake of making the world famous soup. The larger the fins, the more soups you can make, the more revenue poachers get. Unfortunately, only 3.5 thousand white sharks remain in the entire world ocean. So maybe it's time to leave these creatures alone. The fact is that if sharks disappear, the ecosystem of the planet will collapse. Sharks are an essential link in the food chain, the most important. Predators, as you know, play a colossal role in this sinful fallen world, in which there are all sorts of diseases and the like. While at sea, one must observe all precautions and understand that we are not alone in this world. And to destroy a shark because it is so big and scary is stupid. Quite stupid.